the last module we discussed complex numbers. So, now we are going to discuss the second chapter that is De Movius theorem. So, one two mass question will appear and one seven mass question will appear in the final examination that is intermediate examination either on the Pradesh or Telangana state board examinations intermediate examination total nine marks will come from this De Movius theorem chapter. So, first let us briefly recall the whatever concepts are required to solve the problems regarding to this chapter. So, basic concepts. So, now basic concepts, basic concepts. So, basic concepts. The first concept is cos theta plus i sin theta all to the power of n, whether n may be any integer, either positive integer or negative integer. Cos theta plus i sin theta all to the power of n is equal to, this is cos n theta plus i sin n theta, this is the Demover's theorem. The second one is cos theta minus i sin theta all power n is equal to cos n theta minus i sin n theta. Shortly they may be written like this also cis theta power n is equal to cis n theta. Cis is nothing but short form of cos theta plus i sin theta only. So, generally cis of minus theta power n is equal to cis of minus n theta. For example, cos theta plus i sin theta all power p by q where rational index. So, this is equal to cos p theta by q plus i sin p theta by q, where p comma q r belongs to integers, but and q does not equal to 0. So, now if x is equal to suppose cos theta plus i sin theta. In the last module we have discussed the multiplicative inverse of any complex number. The multiplicative inverse of this one is 1 by x that is cos theta minus i sin theta. So, we have x plus 1 by x x plus 1 by x means if you add these two what do you get now plus i sin theta minus i sin theta will be gets cancelled cos theta plus cos theta we get 2 cos theta. Similarly, x minus 1 by x if you subtract it these two gets cancelled we get 2 i sin theta even it can be extended like this also. We can remember x is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta, 1 by x is equal to cos theta minus i sin theta, x to the power of n plus 1 by x to the power of n is equal to 2 cos n theta, x to the power of n minus 1 by x to the power of n is equal to 2 i sin n theta. So, now we shall discuss cube roots of unity. What are the cube roots of unity? Cube roots of unity. Cube roots of unity means what do you mean by cube roots of unity? 
that is unity means 1. So, cube root of unity means let us say z is equal to cube root of 1 or you can say x. Cubing we get x cube is equal to 1. So, roots of this one. The cube roots of unity are given by cube roots of 1 are 1 omega omega square and we have relations 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 and 1 plus omega is equal to minus omega square, 1 plus omega square is equal to minus omega and whereas omega cube is equal to 1. So, this relation we have. So, now let us discuss problems on de Mauvais theorem. First very short answer type questions. Okay. First problem, if A, B, C are angles of A triangle of a triangle x is equal to c c a y is equal to c s b z is equal to c c then then find the value of x y z x y z that means capital a capital b capital c or interior angles of a triangle x is equal to cc a y is equal to cis b z is equal to cis c then we have to find out the value of x y z that means product of x y and z we have to find out. So, that means solution here given in this problem x is equal to c c a y is equal to c s b z is equal to c s c. Now, let us find out x y z. Now, x y z that means c c a into c s b into c s c. This we can write in the last episode we have discussed c s a into c s b into c s c is equal to c s of a plus b plus c. So, according to the problem A, B, C are the interior angles of a triangle that means from the triangle we know that A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees that is pi. So, A plus B plus C is replaced by pi. So, this equal to cis pi, cis pi means cos pi plus i sin pi cos pi is minus 1 plus i into sin pi is 0. So, minus 1 plus 0 so equal to minus 1 therefore, x y z is equal to minus 1. Let us move to the second problem now. What is the second problem? Second problem, okay. if x is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta 
cos theta plus i sin theta, then find x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6. Okay, let us do it. See, here given x is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. What is x power 6? x power 6 means cos theta plus i sin theta whole power 6. We know the de Moivre's theorem. What is the de Moivre's theorem? Cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n is cos n theta plus i sin n theta. So, we get this is equal to cos 6 theta plus i sin 6 theta. So, now one by x to the power of six. One by x to the power of six is the actually multiplicative inverse of this one. Multiplicative inverse is given by cos six theta minus i sin six theta. Now, what we have to find out? You check it here x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6. Let us add x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 is equal to this is equal to cos 6 theta plus i sin 6 theta plus cos 6 theta minus i sin 6 theta. Let us simplify it plus i sin 6 theta minus i sin 6 theta cancel cos 6 theta plus cos 6 theta 2 cos 6 theta. Therefore, x power 6 plus 1 by x power 6 is equal to 2 cos 6 theta.